welcome back. Let's have some fun. Let's have a look at these stars. How many stars can you see all together? There are 12 stars. Well done. How did you get that answer? You could have said 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. Let's look at writing it a different way. How many groups of stars can you see? And how many stars are in each group? There are three groups and there are four stars in each group. So we can also say three groups of four is 12. Well done. Now I'm going to show you a little magic trick. This is called a time sign or a multiplication sign. It looks very similar to the letter X. Here's when we use a little bit of magic. We said earlier that we can see three groups of four is 12. You can take the groups of away and replace it with the time sign and take the is away and replace it with an equal sign. Now you have a multiplication sum. So it reads three times four equals 12. So you can do the same sum in different ways. You can draw a picture showing how many groups and how many is in each group. You can write your addition sum, such as 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals 12. You can do your groups of sum, 3 groups of 4 is 12. And you can do your multiplication sum, 3 times 4 equals 12. Let's do one together. You can check your answers as you go. First of all, how many cakes can you see all together? Well done, there are 20 cakes. What is your addition sum going to look like? It would say five plus five plus five plus five equals 20. Well done. Now see if you can write your groups of sum. How many groups can you see and how many cakes are in each group? You can see that there are four groups and in each group there are five cakes. So it will read four groups of five is 20. Now can you write a multiplication sum? This is when we use a little bit of magic. We take away the groups of sign and replace it with our multiplication sign. We take away the is and we replace it with an equal sign and it will read four times five equals 20. Good job. Well done. Now you can go and practice if you on your own. Good luck.